those legs are kind of like toothpicks. They'll break off real easy on the terrain, or if you land too hard. Yeah, you definitely want to so watch which your legs. It's like the best I, mech in the game. Are my literal legs in the mech? Yeah, your legs in the mech. Yep. You want to be careful with your descent, your descent speed. And if those break off, it's an instant kill. So you have to eject. Maybe this rattle's going in the direction you're going. Just before you land, pull back on it a little bit so it swings your feet out in front of you. You can land going pretty quick, but you lose it like quick. Any side to side at that speed. Right back in the ship. Shotgun is gonna give you a lot of heat really fast, so you want to be really close when you're using the shotgun piece. But the mini guns are low heat; you just crank those all the time. Yeah, that scatter shot—you gotta be really close to do any serious damage. Your your reptile will tell you if you're in range too. Circles around it. If they're dotted, that weapon is out of range. Very physics-based. The same thing on the legs. If you can get your legs, the legs of your enemy, then that's a kill for you. Oh, nice one. Nice job, nice job. That's where you kill the bad guy, but... Knocking off the plates and getting into the sweet and meat. That was very specific. That was good. Sweet meat. Subsequently, if you spin when somebody's shooting at you, you just want to deflect with as many shields as possible. That's what holds you together. The weak points are going to be the top of the head, especially on the gold rush, the one you're in right now, or the back portion of any of the mechs. Um, cockpit also. Cockpit yeah, is harder to hit, base, though. Hit right in the yeah, one leg. You're... There's the fun like been traveling around. Boost the entire I think I heard Vanner say ow. Probably did I died, I don't remember what happened. I was dead. Beef did it. And any, just a lot of times, just get in on a map and just fly around, just by yourself. No bots, nobody else, no enemies. Those flight mechanics that you learn are going to transfer over for any of the mechs that you choose to, to use. Yeah, I recommend that too. So Turn I, on fast fuel uh, too. I, I, I randomly just, just ejected. Was that because you ran into me? Yeah, I ran into you. I was dropping down and you were floating along and I hit you so hard. And that's what my mech's designed to do, is to ram into people. It's got that cow catcher in the front, like the old trains. And it's the fastest forward jets in the game. But I was coming down at an angle and I hit you as soon as I did. You you died, so you ejected. Or you ejected so you didn't die. Actually, nobody dies here. 
Well, if you eject, you give the other team a point anyway in this game. Just remember that. Ejecting just because you're in bad shape will give the other team a point. Well, yeah, in death favorable in other games. So, yeah, in death death. But if I don't have any really arms do. or any legs that I'm, I'm flashing red, I'll eject. Because you're better off to get back and, you know, if you're one shot away, you might as well just get back and get back and get off your team. Good shot. Yeah, it looks like uh, the dog biting you, Tiny. It's like whoever gets a turn in first will win. We didn't even match. Vandal's been getting really good at that circle strafing too. That's that's a big one. Hmm. So after you zoom in, how do you shoot the railgun? It takes 25. It takes a while for you have to hold the trigger until you hear that clunk. When you hear the clunk, that means the, char the your next round is loaded. So when you release the trigger, it fires it. But if you hold it too long after the thunk, it's going to overheat and you can shut down. So you need to let it go. Oh, that's right. You have to count for drop. Physics of reality. Virtual reality. Jets on that one, a lot of pop without any quick one. It's like the top button on your left control. But you just kind of shoo. You can use that to ride it up cliffs and down the other side. When you lose on legs, you just fly faster. I mean, because you're lighter. I swear I can't get this damn railgun to work. I keep hitting the holding the trigger, it doesn't matter. Well, you hold it down for Look about four the, seconds. And you're over your right top right side there's a G2, G1. One of those is going to shoot up too. When it gets to the very top, then you release. And you can hear it too if you got a good enough sound. It's... So can you every run time rails I'm on clicking. the overhaul? Yeah, I don't think every, you're using rail gun actually if you're in the overhaul. You must be using some other yeah, kind of Yeah, I think if you're in overhaul, I think it's hammers. You could well, have them both on that. the same button. Or... Then how do you use the hammer then? I guess that's my question. Oh, same thing. That. You, you hold the trigger to guide the hammer. The moment you let go of the, the trigger, you'll commit the hammer to the last direction you are facing. You can also com uh, control it in first person mode if you bring down the, the zoom in scope. So if I've got. Okay, so if I'm, I'm pushing the trigger and all I hear is the de -de 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 sound um, and nothing is happening on the weapon screen, what, what then? That sounds like whatever trigger you're pressing is activating a module. So you want to see what that trigger actually does. Um, the G1, G2 are your triggers. G3, G4 should be your thumb buttons. Oh, 
torso critical. Destroying Reef Master. Oh, I really like yeah, it. I figured it out, ish, I guess. But yeah, no, they they fired. You can oh, get really okay. good at those. Some guys I, are like I this. see exactly what's okay. All right, I. Because a guided you, missile. If you eject you and go to the corners and. Well, if you eject and go to the the grinder config, you can actually control which button fires which weapon, and uh, which button controls which module. So you may want to do that if the buttons aren't uh, ideal or comfortable to you. Hey, chokes. Welcome. Two shots I couldn't afford to miss, and I missed them both. Now see, once you release those rockets, they just go straight. You can guide them up until the point you release them. Okay, yeah, I'm yeah, trying. Yeah, I was just trying to figure that out. I was like, <laughs> yeah, you need to hold the triggers to keep manual guidance. But once you release them, they'll try to go straight, depending on the last direction that they faced. All right. Wow, you are taking a beating, Reef. Damn it, you're good. Yeah. Is that you, Lena? I like the idea of homing missile because I'm a little bitch, so I mean. So with those missiles too, I've heard that if you kind of shoot over your shoulder, you'll get a lot of tighter grouping of the missiles. So you might give that a shot versus straight on. Oh, that's an interesting tip, yeah. Yeah, that must have been alarming at some level for a second, where you realize we were both going to miss. I mean, people can shoot the death. Yeah. Hello? Which is rude, I would never get Hello. I've seen people do it, I've seen Chinese do it. What was that? Blow missiles up in people's faces. It's just rude. I've seen you do it. Yeah. I would never do it. Your team was victorious. Promotions all oh, around. It? Wow. Seems too short. GG.